Hey, hey, Reaper team, what's going on? Thanks so much for tuning back in. So it is uh, May 20th. Uh, team, I'm on a nice little stretch of days off from work. I think I got like seven or eight days off. Um, I didn't request it. It's just the way that the schedule turned out. So I saw that a couple weeks ago. I was all excited. I was like, man, the boats are ready to roll. Maybe I'll, you know, do some early season bluefin hunting. Maybe head to the canyons, do some sharking. Uh, you know, get out on the little boat, do some... Uh, you know, scouting out for some fluke before the season starts, um, and uh, not going to happen. It's been blowing 30 to 40 knots for uh, two days straight. Uh, it's going to blow for another day or two. Um, there might be a brief little reprieve on Friday, so hopefully we're going to get out and um, do the opening day fluke season, uh, but even that is supposed to be pretty darn windy, and then uh, another round of northeast start, so let me get out of the car and I'll show you guys what we're dealing with here. Yeah, so, uh, we're not going anywhere. At least in any of the boats. Look at that. The ocean is angry. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head about 45 minutes inland to some cranberry bogs in the pine lands, in the, um, in the pine barrens rather. I have an obsession with the pine barrens. It's so pretty. Um, I freshwater fish about once a year. So a friend from work told me about this. Thank you so much, Cheyenne. I'm gonna go check it out. Now, the last time I went to the pine barrens in my pickup truck, it did not end well. I ruined my Toyota Tundra. I went in a couple days later, I traded that in on a brand new Tundra. And just about a month or two later, I crashed that Tundra. So now I got this big lifted Chevy Silverado. So let's hope it goes better. So we'll see. I'll catch back with you up there. Hopefully we're in for a nice little drive. I'm going to head inland. Hopefully it's not as windy and cold. It feels like it's November here. And we'll go from there, team. If not, I'll see you guys Friday uh, on the fluke season opener. So cross our fingers. Heading west. Not the right direction, but it'll have to do. All right, team, tiny little dirt road, pretty cool. I may get out and walk so as not to scratch up my car too much. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I think the ponds are back there. Actually, it looks like we can keep going. Keep going a little bit. Pretty neat. Wow, team, it's so cool back here. It's uh, it's so quiet. Um, I just came to a little fence, uh, but good news, it says public property, so that's awesome. How often do you come back in the woods and see that sign? So that's neat. So uh, I'm gonna go on foot now, and um, hopefully you can find some fish here. Public, baby, it's so cool. Super pumped. I think the truck should be good there. All right. Now we walk. So man, team, this is New Jersey. Look at this. No one around. This is New Jersey. I don't see any skyscrapers here, do you? So everybody's got this misconception about New Jersey. South Jersey, I swear, it's a whole different state. Um, I mean, look at this. It's just beautiful back here. So quiet. All right, enough yapping. Let's catch some fish. Old road. This is so windy. Like, I mean, so windy. Good lord. All right, so let's try this jointed Rapala. It's a little bit bigger. Um, it's so windy. I mean, even, God, even way back here, it's so windy. Hopefully this has a little more oomph where I can actually cast. Um, it's cold. I mean, we got this big front, you know, so these fish might not even bite. I really don't know. I say we just do a nice, slow, methodical retrieve. Regardless, it's super cool back here. I just saw someone's old lure back there, so someone's been fishing here. Got some stumps. I'm just gonna I think plug through this here. Area. 
you, see what happens. Fish on, baby, fish on! Fish on! <laughs> it's not a tuna, but it's a fish. <laughs> hey, little fella, that is a little baby chain pickerel, but you know, that's the desired species. Um, man, he's little. Hi, little buddy. Okay. Now, you want to try and handle these as little as possible. I don't have. A lot of guys are squeezing them and whatnot. Look how pretty little chain pickerel. Bye bye, baby. Get down there. All right. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> fish on. That fish will be just fine, too. I hooked them with just one of the little troubles. All right. I was like the fifth cast. Super pumped, baby. Super pumped. I think with this. Hard northeast wind, they'd be on this south bank right here. That fish was hugging the bank. Big time. Good amount of structure to work, so. We'll just work it. By those stumps, there's gotta be one. Fish on, oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one, guys. That's a good one. Oh, that's a better one there. He hit it right at the shore, oh, he came off. Oh, okay. There's some nice picks in here. Oh, that was a good one. Hope you guys got to see him. He was a good, he hit right, right there. All right, okay, there's some fish here. Super pump, man. There's some fish here, and that was a better one. I just got bit. All right, okay. That was a good one. So right on, they're on the shoreline. As expected. All right, so I'm imagining this is an old cranberry bog that uh, doesn't get continually drained every year now. So um, these pickerel, that, that sucker there looks like he's a couple years old. So that tells me there's a naturally spawning population here. That's neat. Um, this is tannic water. Actually, this is not tannic water. This is actually acidic water. So there's no largemouth here. Um, it won't support their um, reproduction. Um, and I wonder what the forage is here. That, that was a bigger pickerel. So I'd imagine there's got to be something here that they're foraging on, some sort of smaller bait fish. Um, but let's head up the road a little bit and uh, try and find some more cover. They definitely want to be right near the shoreline. But that's cool. Maybe 10, 15 casts, two fish, pumped. I have some worm hooks, right? There you go. Try some little worm hooks. Question is, so this is just uh, little worm hooks. I think this is like a 1-0. Yeah, 1-0. Now let's see what kind of goodies I got in here. Oh yeah. Power bait, baby. Little power bait. Boom, boom. Four inch power worm. Black and green. See. Ah, oh, the smell of power bait. Oh God, that brings back memories. <laughs> so guys, in high school, when I wasn't playing a sport or down at the beach, that's what I did. Me and my buddies, we would ride our bikes to our local pond, which is awesome by the way. Still the best New Jersey freshwater fishing I've seen. And we'd hang out and catch bass and pickerel. Brings back memories smelling this power bait so what you do go right in the midline go in a centimeter pull it up to the top spin it around pull that through and then go back in and then you want to hide that hook just in there so now it's a lot more weedless of a presentation now I can work this a little bit better Yeah, a little tail, super enticing. A 
little guy hit it right there there we go there we go all right safe release thanks bud okay so two casts in a row with the worm that they bit just wanted a little slower presentation huh? there's really not a ton of fish in here enough to make it interesting though There you go, fish on. That's a little guy. Oh my God, what's up little dude? You're tiny. Hey fella. Little baby. Just that one big one so far. All the others were small specimens. Okay baby, get you off. There you go. Handle them as little as possible. Okay, baby, get down there. There you go, little guy. Oh, I missed him. Son of a monkey. That was a slightly better one. They're here. Missed them. That was cool. There's really no rhyme or reason to where they are. Kind of interesting. It's kind of staggered, really. Yeah. Check this out. Come on, run up on here. Oh, check this out, guys. Yeah. Probably not smart, but I don't care. Oh, it's definitely a little deeper right here, too. Check this out. Yeah. Missed him. Whoa! That was cool. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Blasted it, man. He was like, woohoo! I know if I was using those swimming plugs, I would have caught all these fish, but um, you know, then I would have hurt them. Um, with this rubber worm, they're just kind of grabbing at it. I don't care. I just, I'm pumped I get to see him hit it. That's so neat. That one hit right there. Oh. Damn, dude, look at that. Blow it, you blow it. Mm -hmm. looks pretty good right here. Yeah. Come on. And he missed it. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I missed him. Ah. Snikes. That was a good one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Holy snikes. That was a good one. Ah, oh, I had my drag too loose. He whacked it, missed it, came back for it. Ah. Oh, definitely some bigger ones in here, dude. Ah. Oh. Bomber, man. Bomber. Oh, that was a good one. Man, I'm so rusty right now, dude. So rusty. It's like I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Goodness me. There we go. Come on, Chris. I 
I lost another one. Team, I lost another one. Un unreal. What are you doing, Chris? Unbelievable. What a jerk. Ah, oh, dude. Another one. It's my most productive little cut in, and I'm blowing it. What a jerk. Remember the hanging at the back side of this deal. Ah. Oh. They were both better sized fish too. Better sized fish for show. Boo. I think I'm definitely being a little, uh, there's a hit. Missed him again. Definitely think I'm being a little too quick on the draw on the hook set. There's a good little spot here though, man. It's like four bites right here. Oops. Man. What a bummer, man. Jerk. You're a jerk, Chris. strike again oh my god I got you I got you I got you that's a better one that's a better one I, I can't even guys I can't even right now what like what are we doing what I, I can't even I hooked them I fought them like what I don't even understand what I don't even understand. I had them hooked. Everything. I mean, come on. Like, what are you doing, Chris? What are you doing? Ah, oh, man, oh, man, did you bring your beat game today? Good lord. Stacked up in here, and you're just flailing. Come on, stay glued. I think it's the same one. Yeah, there you go. That's a better pick. That's a pickerel. There you go. That's what I'm used to catching when I was a kid. This big. Okay, baby. All right, I'll get you off. Come on, I'll get you off. Come on. That's a better size pickerel. Come on. That's a better size pickerel now. Come on, baby. Where are you hooked? Where are you hooked? All right. Come on, all right. Where you hooked, baby? I got you. Pretty sure it's the same one that I just kept missing. Okay. Nice pickerel. Chain pickerel. Bye-bye, baby. Get down there. All right. There we go. I'm pretty sure that was the same one. He was ferocious. There we go. Pretty sure I was the same guy. He was ferocious, that one. Ah, oh, that was cool. I made that made the whole trip worth it right there. <laughs> super pumped, baby, super pumped. Yes. All right, let's keep going around the bed. They're getting bigger. Oh. Oh, check this out, team. Oh, look at it back here. Look at it back here, yeah. Another little casting platform, dude. Casting platform, homie. Homie. Let's see if they're in these shallows. It's really shallow in here. Man, look how cool this is back here. This is so neat. I think it's going to be a little too shallow in here. Oh, you see him come across? Oh, you see him come flying? <laughs> that was neat. He just came darting over. That was cool. 
rather not even hook them. <laughs> he comes back for it. Yeah, he did. Tell you what, when you find them, they're awful feisty. All right, I came back to that first pond. Let's try something a little different. Let's try a little lizard, slightly bigger profile, maybe tie into something a little bit bigger here pretty sure this is where I was I was getting a couple of real nice bites give them something a little different should be a little easier to cast too come on baby that's pretty neat look at that beaver house pretty cool Uncle Si would blow that thing right up there we go Hey, little buddy. Hey, fella. All right. Okay. Feisty little guy. All right. Another one. Super poop. Now, there's a pickerel right there. Look at him. See him chilling? Right there. go after it right there see him right there Look at him. you want it oh he wants it i don't want to hook him <laughs> that was cool all right team i would definitely call that a success um nothing huge good amount of action um i didn't see a single human being all day that is so neat um i think we're gonna do a a, a neat counter today let's see how many times during this trip i said the word neat or maybe son of a monkey. I don't know. But at any rate, let's see. It looks like, yeah, my truck's still here. So if we can get the truck out of here successfully without sinking it, I'll call this day a success. Sure beats sitting at home looking out back at the stupid wind. So I think I'm going to hit one more little pond um, that I just started research on on the way home. So I'll check back with you guys there. All right, yeah, that second pond was uh, pretty crowded. Uh, I want no parts of hanging out with other humans today. So I think we're done, team. I'm going to head on home, get back on my island. I guess maybe do some stuff on the big boot. I think one of the other really cool things about being way back there was, uh, man, zero cell phone service. I didn't pick up my phone the entire time. That's awesome. So Cheyenne, thank you so much. Jordan, thank you so much. The locals helping me out because if not i would have had no clue yeah. so thanks. thanks so much for joining me i'll see you on the next video and the next adventure man i love fishing it's so fun i'll see you